Today I'm going to share with you how to upcycle your old jeans into a denim leaf pillow cover. This is a envelope pillow design. So first of all we're going to prep our old jeans to use in a Cricut. So I am cutting heat and bond into panels of five inches by the width of the heat and bond and applying it to the wrong side of the denim. So this is an old jeans, pair of jeans on the legs. Then I'm going to cut out my denim to the size of the heat and bond. You need it five inches wide in terms of the SVG file. Peel off the heat and bond paper. And then you need extra sticky, strong Cricut cutting mat. This is um, a, new, a new mat, so it's very sticky. Apply your denim, smooth it on really carefully and strongly. You want it to really stick because denim is quite stretchy. Then insert your cutting mat into the Cricut ready for the design. Make sure you, stitch, you turn your dial on your Cricut to bonded fabric and you've got a fabric um, cutting tool in the Cricut. As you can see, it's cutting out the design here. And then we're going to peel it, peel it off and reveal the leaf shape. Mine didn't all cut out 100%, so I have used scissors just to neaten up as I go. Overall, you can't really tell on the finished pillow. So you're going to need uh, 66 leaves at approximately two inches in size. So you're going to cut out various pieces of denim to get your 66 leaves. I went for slightly totally different denim to give a slight variation to the overall finished design. Now in terms of the pillow you need uh, two pieces for the back and one piece for the front. So that's 18 inch square. If you've got a straight seam down the grain of your denim, brilliant. If not, you can always trim your denim legs and uh, rejoin at a, with a straight seam. And you're going to lay out your leaves. I've got the odd leaf that's slightly darker colour, so I'm just mixing them around. You can, of course, use a quilter's ruler and um, get them all very precisely the same. Make sure that they're the same depth so therefore you've got the angle the same on each of them. Do make sure your heat and bond side of your leaf is facing the denim and not your where your iron will be. You need to iron those down to adhere them. I'm just using the paper I saved from the heat and bond to protect the iron. You don't have to do that. Just give them a really good press. For them to adhere. As you can see I've done one side of my central seam first with three rows of leaves and then I'll go on to do the other side. Once you're happy with your ironed on leaves, top stitch them in place with a coordinating thread. I think I've used a white thread. So you're stitching close to the edge of each leaf and then uh, obviously um, knotting off your ends of your thread. So I wrote, I stitched down a column and sewed in all the ends and sewed down the next column, etc. To add piping to your pillow, I have opened out some bias binding and I'm wrapping it around the piping. To be honest, if I could have bought it already covered locally quickly, I would have done. But this is an alternative solution. So I'm using a zipper foot and I'm just stitching the bias binding round the piping to start with. In terms of laying it out on the cushion or on the pillow, I am marking out the edges so that I know exactly where to lay the covered piping. So it's a 16 inch square, so I'm just marking all the way around with Taylor's chalk using the quilter's ruler again. I love quilters rulers, they're fantastic. I'm not a quilter, but I use it so much. I 
really helpful for getting 90 degree angles. Right, I'm just going to trim that excess trouser leg off there. Right, so you can see I've already made a start and I'm pinning the bias binding piping around the edges. When you get to a corner, you might want to trim in slightly into the excess fabric just to help it bend around the corner. When you get all the way around, overlap your edges nice and neatly. Right, to finish off the cushion, you're going to need two pieces of denim. I think at one's 11 inches wide and 16 inches, you know, 17 inches the other way. And the other's, I think, 14, 13, 14 inches. I'm just, so you get a nice overlap, basically, to create your envelope. I'm folding in the, the raw edge and I'll top stitch that. You don't want to draw it on the back of your cushion. So just stitch that to secure. Now we're going to finish the cushion off. So now you've got your neat edges. Lay the right size of your denim facing the right size of your front cover. And then you're going to pin that in place all the way around. And again, you're going to use a zipper foot to get as close as you can to the piping as you stitch your two sides of your pinot together. So I swapped sewing machines because my Benino has a much better zipper foot. So I'm stitching as close to the piping as I can and going all the way around. Once you've done that, trim the corners. Careful not to nick your seam. Then turn your pinot cover right side out. Last thing, you're obviously going to put the pillow insert in. And that's it. One beautiful denim pillow with an envelope closure. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I regularly share new upcycled old jeans projects. Thanks for watching.